everyone, I'm Jamila and welcome to my kitchen. I just love soup. I do. And one of my favorite soups is cream of tomato soup. Today I have a cream of tomato soup recipe for you guys um, with a little twist I guess you can say. It um, includes roasted red bell pepper and I'm also going to spice it up with some uh, red pepper flakes as well which is optional you don't need to do that if you don't like spice so without further ado uh, let me go ahead and tell you about the ingredients and show you how I make my soup first of all I have a large roasted bell pepper now what I did with this is since I have a gas stove I roasted the pepper directly over the flame so that's how I roasted my pepper. And in this bowl right here, I have three Roma tomatoes. This is maybe about a quarter cup of sweet white onion. One cup of cashew soaked. one cup of low sodium vegetable broth four sun-dried tomatoes that have been soaked one half of a two ounce package of basil four cloves of garlic that have been roasted in the oven and a cup of filtered water. And also I have here pink Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, and the red pepper flakes. Instead of cooking this on the stove all of the way, um, what I'm going to do is put all the ingredients into the Vitamix, blend it up, then I'm going to simmer the soup on the stove to develop the flavors. First what I'm going to do is I am going to add in the broth, cashews, and the water I'm just going to add half of the water now that's half a cup of water and I'm going to blend this up until it's smooth now the reason why I don't just dump all the ingredients in and blend it up is because I just want to make sure that my cashew cream that I'm going to create with the uh, liquids that I have in here is creamy and it doesn't have any chunks and, and everything before I put all the other ingredients in there. Okay, now as you can see here that the cashew cream that I created with the cashews in the water and the broth it is nice and smooth. So now I'm going to add in the tomatoes. Roasted bell pepper, sun dried tomatoes, garlic, the onion, and I'm going to add in my 
red pepper flakes. Pepper. And the pink Himalayan sea salt. hit my switch by mistake. And we're going to go ahead and blend that all up until it's smooth. Now after all those ingredients are well blended, now I want to add in my basil. Alright, I just want to check the creaminess of the soup so far. Just give you guys a little look at that. See how nice and creamy that is. I'm going to go ahead and give this a little taste. Good, but I want it a little bit spicier. So I'm going to put in more. A little more of the red pepper flakes. And I'm also going to add in a little bit more of the salt and the black pepper as well. Let's go ahead and uh, recheck the soup for the flavor. Mmm. It's perfect now. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into a pot, put it on the stove and let it simmer for about 10 minutes, like I said, to develop the flavors a little bit more. You do not have to do that if you don't want to. If you have a, a blender that has a soup uh, speed on it or pre-programmed soup um, speed, then you can definitely just let it run, let it get warm, and then go ahead and eat your soup. But I'm going to put mine on the stove. So when it's ready, I'll be back with the final look and taste. I've let my soup simmer and I'm going to now pour it into a bowl. Give a final taste test. Doesn't that look gorgeous? It smells wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm. really good and creamy. You may have noticed that I've only used half a cup of water instead of a full cup of water. And that's your preference. When I poured the ingredients into the blender, I could tell that I really didn't need the full cup. So that's why I didn't use it because I wanted my soup to be nice and thick. Now, if you want your soup to be thinner than this, then of course add more water. So, once this cools down, I'm going to have this for lunch. So there you have it. My creamy tomato soup with roasted red bell pepper. If you liked this video and enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe for new recipes each week. 
Until next time, bye.